Hey everyone, this is tutorial number one about digital portfolios. If you've been at Orion for a while, you probably already have a digital portfolio. And if that's the case, awesome. You can go ahead and use the one that you've got. But if you're new and you need one, I'm going to show you how to begin and where to begin. And surprisingly enough, the first thing that we're going to do is not make your portfolio. The first thing we're going to do is go to your Google Drive. So click on your little triangle and get yourself to your Google Drive. And the first thing we're going to do to make everything from here on out a whole lot easier is make a new folder. So click on this little new plus sign up in the top left corner of your screen and you're going to choose to make a new folder and you're going to call it portfolio. And once you hit enter, you'll see that it pops up right here. Mine popped up right here, but yours will pop up at the top of your screen and you'll see where you have a portfolio. And right now it might be empty because it's brand new and that's okay. But what you're going to be doing for the next little while is thinking of things that you're going to want to add to your portfolio website. Anytime you find something that you want to add, you can go to this plus button and upload a file. This is going to be great for your photos. You're definitely going to want a picture of yourself. Maybe you have photos of art projects or your science fair project or your national history day presentation, whatever you have that you want to add, you can upload your file here. Another thing you can do is if it's something that's already in your Google Drive, let's say you wanted to add this um, Google Doc, you can drag it over to your portfolio folder and put it in there. You guys, you can put anything you want in your portfolio. You can do a Google slide. You could do obviously Google Docs and photos lots of things that you are going to be able to include. So you're going to go ahead and take a few minutes to put some more things in your portfolio folder in Google Drive so that you have a good start when it's time to make your portfolio. Okay, so I've been working with mine and I've got some things in here now. So I'm ready to go to start making my portfolio. So now what we'll do is open up a new tab and we're going to type in sites.google.com. So go ahead and type that in, hit enter, and that's going to take you to Google Sites. And yours is going to look different than mine, and that's okay because we want this template gallery. It's up in the top right corner. So click template gallery, and then make sure that you're clicked into Weber School District. And you'll see right at the beginning, there is the Orion Student ePortfolio template. So go ahead and double click that and it's gonna open up on your screen. All right, so now you have this template and you've got your very own copy of it. So here's what we need to do next. We're gonna go back to Google Drive and we're gonna click on My Drive. And I want you to find that template and go ahead and right click on that template and move to your portfolio folder in my drive and then you're going to find portfolio and you're going to click move here and now i have a copy of that in my portfolio folder so everything for my portfolio is organized and together right here in my google drive it's going to make it so much easier i promise so let's go back up to the top and click on our google sites portfolio and let's talk about making this feel more like you. This is your portfolio and you can be as creative with it as you would like to be. So I'm going to give you just a few tips and then get you started. And then you can come in here and play around and make it whatever you envision it to be. The first thing I want to show you is over here in the right hand side, very right hand corner where it says themes. If you would like to kind of experiment with the look of your site, you can click through these themes and you'll see how it changes just a little bit and you can find one that you like and it, you can also change the colors. So if you want to play with the colors here and the font style. So go ahead and Play around until you find something that is like you. So there you go over in themes. Now, another thing you're definitely going to want to do is add some pictures of yourself and especially this um, 
about me picture right here, you want to change it to one that's a picture of you. And hopefully you already have a picture of you in your Google Drive portfolio folder. If not, go put one in there right now. But let me show you how easy it is to change that picture. So I'm going to just click on the picture right here and then on these three dots which gives me the option to replace my image. And if it's already in my Google Drive, I'm going to hit select from Google Drive. I'm going to go to my drive. I'm going to find my portfolio folder. And there's a picture that I can use to replace. That's not really me, spoiler alert, but it's cute. And then you can come into your about me and you can type whatever you want to type. You can change fonts and sizes and all the fun things right here, but personalize that a little bit. Another thing you can personalize is actually the whole title of the website. If you don't want it to say my portfolio, change it and say whatever you want to say. So you just have to click in there and start typing. You can change again, font size, bold italics, underline it, whatever you want to do, change the color, but make this your own website, make it feel personal. All right. Another thing I want to show you really quickly is how easy it is to grab and move things around here. So if I wanted to change this a little bit, mm -hmm. I can move my cursor until I get this little four arrow thingy thing and then just drag it and I can drag however I want it to be. So I'm moving it around. If I do something and then I'm like, oh, I hate that, I gotta change that. This undo arrow is pretty awesome. We can change it back. So you have a lot of options as you're creating this to make it look however you want it to look. And so that is the end of our first tutorial. We've got lots more we're gonna talk about all, what all these buttons are down here at the bottom in our next video. So for today, have fun making your portfolio feel like you.